Okay, today I'm gonna make some chicharron. Here I have some pork belly. It's two and a half pounds, two nice big strips. Now these are a lot thicker than what I want for chicharron. They're great for some bit saw, but uh, not for chicharron. That's a little too thick. I'm gonna wanna cut these in half. It's about the thickness I want. Now that skin is really tough, and it's often hard to cut the skin with a knife, unless it's partially frozen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the meat. Get down to the skin. Getting off camera a little bit there. All right, and that's all the way down to the skin. What we'll do take scissors and cut it. A lot easier to cut that skin with scissors than it is with a knife. Now. To help dry out the skin, take a little baking soda. Sprinkle this along here. And then we'll finish doing the rest of that. Okay, I let my pork belly set for about an hour, and then I wash the baking soda off of it. You don't want to leave it on there when you cook it. Now these, these are a little too big for me to mess with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to cut some slits. And go almost to the skin. Not quite. And that's going to help with the rendering process. Okay, so I've got my wok sitting here heating up. I just put it on the medium flame because to start out with, I basically want to render these things out. I'm going to lay them on their side. We'll put half a cup of water. And that's going to create steam. Cover these things up. And we're going to let them render down a little bit. Okay, this has been going for about 15 minutes on a medium flame. Be careful when you take the lid off these things because, I mean, you've got water and oil mixed. And whenever this water starts to go down, you can act, you'll start to pop quite a bit. And it could actually pop grease back on you. And, and you don't want that. What we're going to do, we're going to flip these over. Kind of move them around a little bit. Make sure they get some even cooking. Put the lid back on. Okay, I'm starting to get some pretty good popping going on. I just keep moving these things around. 
trying to cook them even as I can. Just to give you an update, we're an hour in. I'm not putting, I've reduced the flame and letting these things render out. No, I don't need the lid anymore because they're not popping from the water and stuff. They're kind of crackling a little bit from the skim popping a little bit. But we're just going to keep reducing these things or rendering the fat out of these things and let them cook a little more. We'll just keep moving them around. That way they cook even. You want to make sure you get most of the fat or big chunk of the fat out of them or they'll be chewy and you don't really want them chewy you want them nice and crispy and crunchy that's what we're shooting for now when both sides start to look like this we'll take them out they're not done yet we're gonna put them back in there but we'll put them back in at a real hot temperature and crisp them up okay taking the last two out now Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this heat up. And we're going to heat that oil up until it's nice and hot. Okay, my oil should be hot. I know that oil is hot because I see it smoking. And then what we're doing here is we're going to give it a final crisping up. We're only going to do like two at a time. I'm going to do two now and then I'll turn it off and I'll cook the other ones as I need it. I don't want, at this point, I don't want to cook them ahead of time because they're not as good when they're cold. Okay, these two are crispy now. Take them out. See how that skin's all blistered up? Then as soon as you take them out, give them a little salt or any seasoning that you may want to put on them. I'm just using salt today. I think I'm going to cook up a couple more. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, this could be crackers. I was like, oh.